Tonight, we hairy game lords have been playing Forbidden Sky Heights of Danger from Game Right, designed by Matt Leacock, sent to us by Cold Spring Games. What did we think? Find out. Slightly beardy James here. Uh, well, Forbidden Sky is the third in the series. Forbidden Island, Forbidden Desert, where you build a flying boat and then you land on this flying fortress of death and electricity and you have to start a rocket ship. It escalates quickly. So it's uh, the third in the run of uh, co-op games, which are from the very fantastically co-op-y designer, Matt Leacock, who did Pandemic and uh, other games, which are also good. Um, now, Forbidden Island is a very special game to me. I love it very much. Forbidden Desert is great. Uh, when I saw that there was Freedom in the Sky, I was very interested because there was a lot kind of, I don't know, cool and unusual about it. Because um, this game is not about a sinking island. This is about you trying to navigate wires and electricity to set off a an actual, oh my goodness, an actual flying um, rocket. Oh, it doesn't fly. An actual light up rocket that makes a noise. <laughs> that makes a noise. Um, so here's our rocket, um, and here's some wires. Uh, just quickly off the bat, one of the things that might be a problem with this is components. So this is kind of come off one of the. There we go. Come off one of the nodes, uh, but only two of those have come off. That's completely fine. Um, so you are going to be working as a team to place down nodes and um, lightning rods and wires and land itself and you are creating this kind of like this labyrinth of uh, death which you are trying to build a working circuit and then finally hop onto the rocket and place the last wire completing the circuit and you all fly off to safety. But there are so many ways you can die in this game. You can be electrocuted, which happened to me many times, and Pete, many times. Uh, you can be blown off the edge of the uh, mm -hmm. the flying fortress, Hello. which happened more times than we should have happened. Uh, you can basically get to the point where the storm is so intense that uh, everyone is just swept away. This game is tough. And we play this on normal difficulty because we are hardcore gamers and we've played games before. So we thought we could take this one. Uh, I think the problem is we didn't have Dave the Grey with us tonight. And you know what? Anytime that Dave the Grey and I are on a team, we are like destined for success. Check out our Dune review for a great example of this. Um, now, uh, we we did poorly at this. I think poorly is, is a kind way of uh, explaining how we did. Uh, we abysmal, yeah, abysmal. <laughs> we kind of worked as a team. We thought about how best we were going to be placing out our pieces, but in the end, we were just battered. Um, we were battered by the lightning strikes um, because as you're placing the the tiles, which I'm sure Pete will show you as he's explaining more about the game, um, you create in these networks of electricity that run all over the map. We got fried, um, and then. Like you can make all the plans that you want to in the world and then the wind blows and you get knocked sideways or you get knocked off the edge of it and um, your plans change. And so what was reasonably thought out from us trying to connect these nodes up uh, turned into us scrambling, scrabbling for survival um, atop the flying fortress. Um, we died reasonably quickly. It's embarrassing, in fact. I don't know. We. We. <laughs> We now, uh, personally, I <laughs> I love the game Forbidden Island, and um, I think there's something about the simplicity of that which uh, really stands out. I think Forbidden Sky has got potentially one too many bells and whistles for me, um, but if you're wanting a, a cracking co-op game, I'd check out Forbidden Island. This one, I'm sure the guys will tell you a bit more about it, just didn't connect for me. There was no connection of electricity in my heart, apart from the fries, like uh, my poor little uh, uh, electrician. I chose the electrician over the medic. Poor choice. Hi there, Peter Hipster King, and uh, with my thoughts on Forbidden Sky. So, 
as with kind of the the Forbidden series and most of Matt Leacock's game, you have some kind of character. So with this, I was the navigator. I will show you my card. Yep, it was me that died oh. and killed everybody off. We died as a team. Electrocution was the way to go. Um, that thing of trying to get enough of the, the map tiles out. So you're trying to place these tiles all over the board, making sure that at least one wire connects. Um, so there, you know, that's okay there, that's okay there, but you could, there are certain places where you won't be able to put them. And you're trying to build enough of a circuit to join up both sides of the rocket um, base. But you also, depending on the difficulty level, you've got other components that you need to put in. So on normal difficulty, you've got to make sure you've got the main base, you've got two large nodes, three little nodes, and three lightning rods. At least that you've got really to have easy that. Beat. So it looks relatively easy to get all that out, but actually... You know, these um, middle side nodes, you've got to have, that's made up of four quarter pieces. So you've got to get various, so that's these. So you're going to have to get four of those to build one and you've got to do that twice. We were halfway there. Then, of course, somebody needs to do something else, which means that one's gone and so on and so forth. So you're moving around, you're placing, your, you're picking your tiles, you're placing your tiles um, and you manage, you really need, we were aware we needed to build off the other side of the sort of platform. So I went off to start building that play, that bit. But of course, you leave the end of your turn on a platform where the wires are still connected to a lightning rod. And of course, what happens? Lightning's picked for the next two two or three turns. You can't move because you're in the midst of it. I'm the only character I'm one of the only characters that can move other characters because I was the navigator. So I'm stuffed and bang, 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 down goes the um my life force. I was, I did get hit by the wind once and basically the way the wind works, a bit like the health, you've got your rope and you run out of rope holding you to the platform and eventually you fall off the edge of the platform for good and you die. Oh. So um, I guess a bit like James really with this one, I'm a big fan of Forbidden Island and Forbidden, Forbidden Desert. They will remain in my collection even though they were probably one of the first few games I bought. Um, and I think they are brilliant, brilliant examples of what a gateway game should be. Simple rule set, easy to understand, enough challenge in there. Um, you can play around with the setup to make it more or less challenging. Um, and you can play that with new gamers um, and bring them into the hobby, which is what I've done with a number of people. And I know a number of people who've played this and bought it. Um, the issue I think with Forbidden Sky is what they've done, it feels like they've gone for a slightly more challenging game with a really, you know, a nice quirky, the building the circuits is really quirky, but it takes it beyond that gateway game. And then I think the problem you find is that actually we've moved on and where we play co-op games now, we would look for a much more sort of immersive challenge when it comes to co-op. Um, so it's neither gateway nor is it, you know, a, a more challenging like Robinson Crusoe level of co-op game that is absolutely brutal and fully immersive. So I think it falls for me. It fell somewhere in the gap between the, you know, games that you play early doors and the kind of co-op game that I would choose to play now. Um, so didn't hit fit right. But as you know, as I've said, if you haven't checked out. Um, either Forbidden Island or Forbidden Desert by the same designer, I would definitely, um, they would get a really big thumbs up from me, but this one just didn't fit quite right today. Plenty of interesting bits to it, but just not for me. Bearded Lady here. So, it's cool the way that everybody's uh, character has different abilities. So I went for the Surveyor. I could hold one extra tile. I started with a couple of tiles rather than one and I could hand tiles to somebody who was on my tile uh, for free so it didn't cost one of those precious actions uh, so that's pretty cool and I like the way that everyone has different abilities that will aid you in your quest if you will um, of course I think I mean James said you know we all try to help each other, but by nobody choosing the medic, um, <laughs> because everyone was like, "Who wants the medic? Who wants to be able to heal people? We want to like jump over clouds or like hand um, hand extra tiles to people." By no one choosing the medic, 
we all doomed ourselves from the start. Um, and as we have already, as you've already heard, we died pretty quickly. Um, for me, yes, you are building a circuit, which is pretty cool in that sense. Obviously, when you die, you want to, again, uh, maybe like play the game to try and build that, uh, that circuit up. Uh, to see what the rocket is like when it blasts off. I feel like um, this, it, it's almost like when I was a kid and I used to watch adverts on TV of like um, really cool uh, action figures and stuff like that. There was always a little disclaimer along the bottom that said, this toy does not actually fly. Um, <laughs> and that's what's with this game. You want it to fly, but it doesn't. It does make a cool little noise and lights up, um, but that's all it does. Now, why am I, you know, I, you, you might be saying, well, what else were you expecting? Come on. Uh, and yes, that is the thing. I think what it is, is, is that the game is so pipped against you and it's so hard that you are wanting more at the end uh, than just a few bells and whistles, so to speak. For me, it, as the other guys have said, for me, it was a game that I, it, it kind of it grated on me more than anything, uh, which is a shame. I am not somebody who is easily triggered by mismatch of... <laughs> <laughs> this was oh, my days. By mismatch of tiles. I'm not somebody... So when, whenever we're gaming together... Um, Let's be honest, uh, <laughs> you deliberately mismatch stuff to do my head. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. That's what I do. If Pete is like, Pete will like nicely like lay out all of his meeples <laughs> in a certain order, just so there's some un uniformity. And what do I do? I'll just lean over the board and knock them all over just well, to wind just Pete turn. up. But tonight, boy, <laughs> was I triggered by this game. And it, it really, really frustrated me. <laughs> So yes, you place down. You can place a tile down, um, and there has to be connecting. Uh, just one wire. Just one wire. That <laughs> really annoys me. Uh, as you can see on the photograph, there was bits where other t other wires went into just into clouds. I was like, what the heck? The the so in terms of sort of like the con the 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 continuity of the game that and the imagery that you're building up, it's really <laughs> irritating. Then you get stuff like this where, oh, hold on. So there's the platform. Great. Here's the other platform. Oh, this goes together brilliantly. But it's not joining properly. Doesn't join properly. And that. Legal. That whole thing. That's a legal thing. It's really irritating. Really, really irritating. Legal. <sighs> no. No, it's not legal. legal. <laughs> no, bad person. <laughs> <laughs> so... Surprise, surprise, who knew that I could be triggered by that? And I was. And for me, that robbed any satisfaction uh, in the game of, of correct tile placements that there was. Uh, and, it, and it really butchered the game for me. To the point where, although we died pretty quickly on because we didn't have any medics, and although we wanted to see what this bad boy looked like when it set off and flew up to space... I would never want to play this game again because it just it, it annoyed me. Um, sorry, but it did. You're, you're going to wake up one day <laughs> and that's going to be next to you. Two tiles, mismatch. No. Scre I'll be like screaming. <laughs> so for me, this ain't a game that I will be playing again ever. Not like in a hurry, <laughs> but ever. I will not be playing it again. There are other brilliant games out there the guys have mentioned uh the the two that go before this game as brilliant games i love uh i love co cooperative games i think uh old tree is a brilliant game to play a great co-op there are great co-ops out there and uh as pete said maybe our gaming uh what our gaming taste <laughs> good maybe our gaming tastes have moved on so that actually our appetite for a co-op game is far beyond what Forbidden Skies can offer us now. Is it there?
E aí? Postado lá aí. Certo. <risos> This does not do this. <laughs> Without a hand. <laughs>